is it magic type stuff or is it just the body speaking? We just don't know what body bits to, to, to action as such. So if I was still nursing, I would have sent them to physio and occupational therapy and let's do all of that and let's do some speech therapy. But if I just go, hey, how you going? Yep, okay. And the body goes, oh, is that what you want me to do? And you saw like the different movements. It's not magic woo-woo, or it could be. What did you call it before? What did you call it before? Hocus pocus. Hocus pocus. All right. So the boy, my boys call this stuff voodoo and witchcraft. So it's all perfect. All right, Stace, I'm going to get you to pick somebody else. Uh, okay. Oh. What is it? What was it? What is she? She's wet. Yeah, that's not the bad part. I can see inside. What was your name, Dylan? Alinda. Ah, Linda Just or Linda? Linda? Just Linda. Linda, I'm going to bring your chair up here, Dylan. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dylan. Um, just stand for a second. Um, could everyone just please make sure they observe where the chair is? <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat, Dylan. Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, and thank you to Linda as well. Um, and be aware, because the mind doesn't know what's real. So, that's okay. So, um, when uh, you say, don't look at my carpet, I haven't vacuumed, what does everyone do? Yeah. So, what I want you to do is, don't think of a pink elephant. What did you think of? <laughs> pink elephant. So, beware of language, because that goes into body consciousness. And that S word, who said the S word? Yep. That S-O-R-R-Y, I won't say that word. That affects your lymphatic system. Lymphatic is all the lymph cancer type stuff, breast cancer, because the breast is all lymph. And it's like saying, I'm for who I am. Nearly said the word. So just be aware of words. So if the music goes, you go, ah, oh, yeah. Or if you trip over, you go, that was brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> like, turn it around. So where I started for Art, Linda, and Just Linda, um, they're two people in one, is I started in the skeletal system. Um, does that make sense for you? And it's not just because I'm going, is it about, are we in lumbar? Is it uh, I'm all over the place, but it was the whole skeletal system. So your body is requiring, if you want to, an osteopath session. So sometimes the body won't want me and what I do, my modality, it will want someone else's. And it just needs this gentle click, click back together again, yep. but there is a tightness. That's also in the connective tissue, like well, what we saw with David. Connective tissue is how we integrate things and how we connect with things. That's ligaments and tendons and things. And may I show on your body to everybody yeah. with? Oh, well, she'll do it. Okay. <laughs> so in microsurgery and when they, well, it's obviously, that's it. <laughs> it's yeah. going to stay like that forever. I can't straighten. Oh. Okay, so what did she say language? Yes. Yes. So, yeah, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't. Know I think it looks very sexy. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> 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 so I'll just no, go no, back. No, no. <laughs> David, she's up here now. <laughs> so David said, "Not as good as me." Um, so going back, there is the connective tissue here, but when we don't know what's happening within the body, we will physically create something. And I'll show you where the connective tissue is actually, turn around for me darling, up, stand up and up. Um, the connective tissue is actually all in the lumbar area, is not supporting her.
Now, because she can't see it, or she might ignore it, or go, I've just got a back pain, it's all right, then we will do something, we'll actually manifest and create something to show you you're not connecting. Well, how obvious is the little pinky going to be? Because she can't quite pick the nose anymore like that. No. So, it's really annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> so, going back to just show your finger again. So, it's in her face, it's always there. When it's a little pinky, that's baby stuff, like inner child type stuff. When it's in the back area, it can be past, but because it's connective tissue that's coming up and skeletal, uh, back is support yourself, back yourself up, but it's all skeletal, which is the foundations of her. It doesn't mean she had a bad upbringing, there could be that, but it's not bad. How am I going to connect with fully supporting myself in the place of who I am. Can you relate to this? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, fine. have a seat for me, darling, thank you. So when we've got it here, the body says, you're not listening. I'm gonna create it somewhere else. And there it is over there. Does that make sense? Because, going back to David, it wasn't a case of, let's work on, if I was in Western medicine, I would look at his disabilities, medical word, of going, oh, his speech is not uh, of um, the average, whatever the average is, and blah, blah, blah. But that's not what came up first. The other things are saying, this story, you're not being the best that you can be. Does that make sense? Same with here. So then um, we also had uh, feet chakra, people pleasing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. And <laughs> body language, as she pushes out and everything, also speaks as well. So people, how many of you are people pleasers? Stop it. Um, people pleasing and that can put out the skeletal system because our foundations which is our skeleton the foundation is like you lay the slab here which is your pelvis and then you put all the structures in that's your bones and things like that and then you put the casing around which is your skin and then you fill it with connective tissue and organs and things like that just like a house what it's saying here is already that our foundations are completely rocked and I'm looking at the age of 15 uh, we've got 28 and 37. Yep, those ages were later. Oh my God. Anyway, so in people pleasing, now people pleasing can be little things. It could be doing everything for everyone, agreeing with them. It could be that you say I'm an idiot and she goes, okay, I'll just behave like an idiot because you said it. Uh, and it could be very much just not doing for herself um, at all. So then that took me into the back of the head at the occiput area, right here. Um, and so I'm going to ask her, have you had any headaches or tightness in this area here? Well, I so was going to say constantly. with fibromyalgia, so... Which is connective chronic, tissue. Yeah, the connective tissue, just that rings loud and clear, but with that was migraines for years, like terrible migraines and constant headaches, but I do work on it energetically, I try to, but obviously I'm not doing all these other things Why not? to clear that well I'm learning today. <laughs> <laughs> so she also spoke with her hands. She must be Greek, did you not understand? Uh, everyone thinks I am, but I'm... Opa! <laughs> um, so she spoke and she did this. You heard the saying, follow your nose? This is where intuition's held. When I name body parts, follow your nose. So she's not... Ah, people think it's pituitary. But it's actually, yes, nose. Mm. And people that pick their nose a lot can be not following their nose. Unless you're an aqua child, uh, and aqua children like to learn experiential, so they pick it, look at it, and lick it. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to the headaches, the oxyport area or limbic brain is coming up of simplify things, over complicating things. And then I went to pituitary gland where intuition is also held, uh, and third eye. But in this case, it's follow nose. Here in the pituitary gland, came up too critical. Of self. Does that make sense? They go the feet again. Um, <laughs> they go, and so the body's asking her, let's just simplify some things. Because if we complicate things, connective tissue, how can I connect to anything? So we're just doing connective tissue. And what if, because our favorite diseases at the moment are actually chronic fatigue, uh, leaky gut syndrome, anxiety, depression, diabetes. But 10 years ago, they weren't those diseases. So all of us are not listening, and disease is going in patterns, and also popularity. So what if it's not actually chronic fatigue? What if it's actually, uh, excuse me, following your nose, 
I listen to intuition and simplify things. What if? And we'll just tap that into uh, not being over-responsible for other people. Can you relate to that as well? Okay, so, uh, and then we went into kidneys. Uh, we're just going to touch our kidneys as well. I'll get you to sit forward for me, darling. Kidneys on the back. Uh, kidneys are relationships. And guess who she's not having a relationship with? Myself. Yeah, she's having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> it's with all of you and not her. Mm. Can you relate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then if that's all out, that means that my skeleton is not going to hold this building or this building up right. Does that make sense? And I also came to the ileocecal valve, which is where the small bowel and the large bowel connect up. Um, it wasn't, I looked at her jaw, because sometimes if there's ileocecal stuff comes in, you'll feel it in the jaw, nothing came in there. Um, and when people come for jaw stuff, it will be there. But that's a connection too. Small bowel to large bowel is a connection, so it's connective tissue. And this one is saying, okay, you can let that go. You can let that go, going back to those ages. Yes. Okay, so take a breath for me. So let's look at your finger, for example. Show it up again. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh, it's better with a wine glass. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> All right. So now, just thinking of uh, that hand, yes. thinking of that one, and looking at that one and that one. Just keep looking at those two little pinkies. Just keep looking at the pinkies, and I'm just going to touch the kidneys, and I'll go up the top of it. That's all right. If I can't get to a client, then I'll just tap anywhere for the body consciousness. Okay. And just looking at both pinkies. Just looking at both pinkies. And what happened in your hand just then? Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Twitching? So that will never straighten, or will it? It will. It will. I don't know, ask her. <laughs> it will, I'm going to make it now. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> determination. With love and grace. I always say to people, not with determination and mask on, yeah. do it with love. It's all about love. That things are possible, but if it didn't correct, because who's saying, that is not correct. Does that make sense? Because yeah. it's already, remember medical, you're already whole and complete and perfect already. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. You just keep watching those fingers. <laughs> um, any questions at all? Uh, you, you nailed everything. I've been getting tests for years because bottom are just sort of... <laughs> Wa wafty. Yeah, wafty. very everything yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've got scar tissue in my kidneys that they couldn't know what caused. Everything you've pulled is exactly what's been like medically proven, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Cool. It's spot on. Cool. Right. The only thing I can yeah. offer you. It is a strange thing, but hocus pocus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so next time I put my marketing, Jean Sheen, walking, talking, MRI, hocus pocus. So the only thing that I will offer you from your for you, for you whatever you would like to do is no wheat and no dairy at all. Mm -hmm. Have one week off wheat, go back on it, mm -hmm. see what happens. This is for fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. uh, go off dairy for one week, go back on it, mm -hmm. see what happens. And I get people to physically do it because the body doesn't, the subconscious mind does not believe us. Mm -hmm. Actually, go do it, and then wheat and dairy off see what happens and see what happens with the connective tissue. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Awesome. If you can handle no dairy, just stick with it. Well, yeah. I really want the medicinal marijuana as well. What <laughs> the? <laughs> uh, I didn't realise, but time's up, I think. Where's the helper? Thank How you. quick does this go? Thank you so much. So, round of applause to these two people for volunteering.